It's the Napa of Tobago and hopefully without the controversy that surrounds its pier in Trinidad, a sprawling structure in Shaw Park, being built at a cost of almost $200 million. It's expected to be the seat of most things culture in Tobago when completed by June 2011. Chief Secretary of London says funding isn't at this time a major problem, saying it doesn't need special funding from the central government. This is not to be house of the assembly project and we will make the relevant requests in the budget and therefore we expect that, uh, you know, that the central government will recognize the importance of the completing the project. In fact, they are committed to completing the project. So I really don't see any problem. We do have some funding set aside for it for this year's expenses. The new structure would hold as many as 5,000 guests when it's done, and it's also geared towards training in the arts as well. It will include a heritage library, among other things. When this facility is finished as one of the principals said, Tobago is going to be the envy of the entire Caribbean. We'll have a facility that can cater for any cultural event. But Mr. London stresses that this is just a physical structure and that the residents of Tobago must grasp the opportunities to use it for their betterment. So that from now, Tobagonians can start thinking not only of doing things differently, but of doing different things. This facility must change the game where culture and where Tobago's exposure are concerned in relationship to tourism, in relation to the development of the people, in relation to the development of arts and related, related activities. A seven-member steering committee, chaired by John Arnold, will coordinate and provide oversight for the operational aspects of the project.